You ready to fight? You ready? All right, here we go with two of the consensus three greatest featherweights of all time. Absolute legends, both Alexander Volkanovsky and Max Blessed Holloway. Holloway's performance against Calvin Cater back in the day, the greatest singular offer I've ever seen, but he is 0-3 against Alexander Volkanovsky. Volkanovsky seems to have a great style for Max Holloway. He is so smart, he's constantly calculating his path to victory. With his ability to stand, wrestle, and great cardio, he's a very tough out for anyone in the featherweight division. Oh, crippling knee to the body. Oh, nice leg kick attack there from Alexander Volkanovsky. You know it's a city kickboxing fighter if they're employing that weapon. And, and you know, honestly, John, he's done that over and over again. The leg kicks were what got the belt for Max Holloway. He used that to slow Max down, get him out of his conviction, and take him fight the stance that he's not used to, and Volkanovski was able to walk away with the belt on that night. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Hook to the head there by Volkan. Those are big strikes. All right, so he lands another hook. He's already landed several in the round. That one might have been the most significant. That was the best one, but what I like about him throwing his punch over and over again, he just has a fantastic... Oh, maybe the best shot he's won tonight. The biggest Huge land for Volkanovski. All right, so that opened up a cut around his eye area. He hasn't moved his head well. He was taking shots too clean, and now a cut has opened up. All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he can cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention. Ooh. Oh, heavy shots continue to rain down. Nice level change. here and a lot of offensive options I would think at his disposal. Oh, he's got a ton of options. He has submission options, but I believe the safest option for him here is going to be to use his grounded pounce. Build a base, posture up, throw big strikes, get back to position, build posture again, throw big strikes, and just really wear him down with a really secure position. Oh, that's a huge connection there, DC. He Mass. is hurt. The bad man stop. A nice stoppage win for him here tonight. And the other side just couldn't handle the incoming assault. A flurry of punches, most of them upstairs. And when those big shots land repeatedly, the referee has no choice but to step in and call the fight. All right, let's go inside the octagon now to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, one second of the very first round. Declaring the winner by TKO, Alexander the Great Bonamaski! Ready? 
All right, featherweight unification bout Alexander Volkanovsky and the interim champion Yair Rodriguez. Dominic Cruz is fond of saying Rodriguez is one of one. You go way back to the ultimate fighter with El Pantera, and there is no point of comparison for this guy on this entire list. No, he's a different guy. Yair Rodriguez is not the guy that you saw before. It was a star-making performance against Josh Emmett to become the interim champion. And if he fights like that, it would seem as if he can fight anyone in the world. He has a big challenge ahead of him. Because Alexander Volkanovsky is the best pound for pound fighter in the world. In my opinion, Yair has a massive chance tonight. Let's see if he can cash in. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're going to have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Heavy leather landed on both sides in that exchange. Nice straight there by Volko. You never know where it's coming from. You don't know if he's going to do a cartwheel, try to kick you. You never know what's happening from Yair Rodriguez. Plays that deep, and it lands. Just over three minutes to go, round one. Investing in the body with the kick there. Oh, he gets tagged there. Nice combination to the head. It's not over. It's not Strong over. inside leg kick. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Alexander Volkanovsky. Just out of the range with that right hand. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, but he was going low. And now he's got him hurt very badly. Well, I'm no fighter, but if I rock a guy to that extent, I feel like I'm closing the show. Absolutely. You got to go close the show if you get a guy hurt that bad. You cannot back off and take your time. He's back and forth we go. These two guys are trading huge shots. Oh, nice job to land the knee there by the top. He got hurt again. Standing still in their fight. Oh! oh. Back. back to his feet. Block that shot. the end of round one. All right, heading back to the corner, and Volkanovski's corner now. We'll take a look at that lip. The cut man is in, and you got to tighten that up. It's really starting to bleed now. We'll see if uh, it rears its ugly head as this fight continues. All right, let us now take a look back at some of the highlights from that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the exact strike that caused that cut to his lip. He landed a beautiful shot that cut him on the lip. All right, here we go now, champ. Round two, You're Alexander right. Volkanovsky right. and Yair Rodriguez. Yeah. He throws all of himself into that kick. How about the leg kick there? Beautiful. Rodriguez gets caught by the inside leg kick. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Come on, three punch, five punch. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds.
Pretty nice lead right there by Rodriguez. Well, you can just see he is oozing with confidence and not overconfidence, but a big knockdown in round one, likely the source of that confidence. When everything is going great, you tend to feel like you can walk through a wall. He doesn't need to walk through a wall. He needs to continue to find the right avenue to land the shot. Under three minutes to go in round two. Oh, a huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. Missed with that right hand. Nice job defensively. He blocked that punch. Oh, Volkanovski's got a bruise now starting to appear on the right side of his body. Oh, now Rodriguez closing the distance now, DC. You can just tell he's starting to gain some veteran chops now with several years on this UFC roster. Heavy body kick lands. Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Rodriguez's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Beautiful job getting those hands up. Ooh, big shot lands. Nice spinning attack there and able to land to the body. Over and over and over. He's landing these nasty body kicks. Whiffs on the right hand. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets... I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he is on Beach Street right now. He's seeing three the birds. So there's the end of the round. Big story in this one now. The cut on the bridge of that nose from that strike. The cut man is in there. Should be able to shut this one and potentially prevent it from being a factor here moving forward. All right, so there is the horn at times in that previous round. I didn't think we'd get here after that head kick nearly had him out of there. It was a good round leading up to that. But when you take a head kick like that, when your opponent gets your entire body into that kick, usually the night's over. Very tough to still be standing, but he can't take many more like that. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round on the way. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Well, I think I can smell the blood at this point in time. That came... <laughs> Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 44 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout, Alexander the Great Bogonovsky! Wow. I'm not sure I believe what I just saw to quote the late, great Jack Buck. Alexander Volkanovsky by knockout. It doesn't even seem like there's that room above him to get better, and yet he continues to present a better version every fight out. Tries to break the ceiling. I mean, 
The glass ceiling. He busts right through it every time he steps in the octagon. The guy is amazing. He's such a fantastic fighter. I don't know who's going to beat this dude.